Hey guys, Commander Cool, 3 to one my next let's play of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. We last left off, I completed the temple of, what was it, Dragon Roost Temple. Right now, we gotta go to this shrine here and use my Wind Waker, because Wind Wakers are awesome. Ow! Don't roll upstairs, it kind of makes you look retarded. This is the first song in the game, and it's the most commonly used. <laughs> the Wind Requiem. That song has the ability to change the direction of the wind. That's one of the guy gods of the wind, called Zephos. He has a brother named Cyclos. You meet you'll meet him in the game later. He really does help you though. The only reason I'm gonna meet his brother is because he'll make my walkthroughs way faster. You could have learned the song early in the game, but since his brother's so reckless, he broke his own statue, so you can't learn the song. As he disappears in the clouds, we go away. If you have a bomb, hammer, or you can pick up those big rocks, you can go under there and get a lot of money. But since I have a whole wallet, money is of no use to me. And the king's like, my boy, we gotta go south. And if you know why I said my boy, props to you. You'll learn later why in this walkthrough. Probably should not have said it now, in my opinion. Now we go south. That way. To be exact. Boom. I just love how the sail just goes pop. And you gotta meet up with this fish dude right here. The only fish that can speak English and know how to write and read. He draws parts on your map and he gives you information about the island. Well, who needs that when you got the commander? That's right, fishy boy. Commander beats you. Go away, old. Ah! <laughs> Fail. Fail on my part. Link jumped into the ocean at his own will. That was not my fault. <laughs> and you guys see through my eyes. Alright, well, as we leave the Dragon Roost Island border, we enter into Fire Mountain. Fire Mountain has a treasure chart area where you need a treasure chart to find 200 rupees. It also has a special item in that volcano, but we'll get to later. We don't have the item that, um, get in there, so we'll leave it alone for now. There's that up there, too, if you want to go get some like 50 rupees. Since I have 200, getting rupees now would be completely useless. Until I find a bigger wallet. As we leave Fire Mountain in the horizon, with the fire still gushing out of it. Fire still gushing out of it. Wow, that fire is... You can see that fire from a long distance. We enter the next island area. No fire. Eastern Triangle Island. Nothing to do on this island now. Later, yes. And there's those big octos we gotta stay away from. No, well, not big octos. Those are regular octorocks. There's that ship you can talk to and they'll give you a treasure map. They'll go find some treasure. 
on in this area there is a um place you can get a silver rupee so if you want free m more money go get it ah big <laughs> I screwed up there but I showed you a cool trick if you jump in um turns in the direction you want to turn it makes you do a quick 90 degree turn mm -hmm. and there's our destination in the horizon over there but right over here to your right is bomb island the reason it's called bomb island is because it's in the shape of a bomb you also need bombs to get into the cave down there in the cave you'll find a heart piece and there's a merchant on that island to trade with too if you do a side quest for merchant merchant training. There's also a treasure chart here where you can get a piece of heart. One of the rare ones. Here's something I want to do though. This is one of the, like, the pointless side quests but this really does help. I'll show you why in a minute. First things first. He drowns in the ocean. This is probably the easiest thing to do. You have to kill all the monsters. And there's a ridiculous shortage of them. Oh, wait. Was there another one? Right here. No. Where'd he go? Oh, that was a horrible swing. Yep. You only gotta kill the, um, vocal ones. Anyone else is useless. The rats. You get an empty bottle. One of the easiest items to get in the game so far. Because, you know, empty bottles are pretty useful. Very useful. You can store potions, fairies, soups, water, mystical water. Alright, now we continue heading south to our destination. Careful, that place has cannons. They're gonna start shooting at me. Yep. See if they can hit me. They really never hit me before. I mean, they tried. Oh boy, they tried. Eh, well, there's the island of our destination. Or islands. There's actually three of them in this area. But you do have to go to both of them. The one we gotta go to is the one to the left right now. And why does he stop, like, right there? This is Forest Haven. This isn't really an island, but it's a tree growing. It's said that this is, um, ha like the great Deku tree, the old Deku tree from the Ocarina of Time. In theory, I'm thinking, like, you know, the great Deku sprout from, uh, Ocarina of Time is the newest Deku tree. Careful, this guy. He can really do a number on you. That's my strategy to get rid of these guys. This, that. Oh, and they give you this new spoil. The Baba Seed. The Baba Seed is a type of seed you give a sorcerer and he'll make blue potions out of them. There's probably two in here. Yep. Only one? I well, be happy with what I have. Let's go.
and it, that is called an Octorok. But everybody should know what that. Is. Oh, it's pretty much fragile. Anything that hits it, it dies. But it's like you know the classic thing: deflect it with your shield. Oh, you gotta jump. Leap of faith. Now that I think of it, I think this is one of the only few um, wooded areas and in... Yeah it is. The only other wooded area in the entire Wind Waker series is on um, the fairy forest. Other than helping this guy, I'm gonna call it quits for this episode now. The problem is, he has a, there's a cutscene after this, and it's pretty long, and it wouldn't fit in this episode. So, tune in next time where I help this choo-choo invested tree.